Hello guys, uh, this is Dr. Chani, a pediatric faculty from Adia Plexus. I'm very happy and proud to introduce Dr. Gokul from uh, Karpaga Minayaga Institute, who is our uh, Adia Plexus regular batch student from Chennai, who has scored a rank of 82 in the INSA number exam. Hello, Gokul. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. So, hearty congratulations. We are very happy and proud of you. So, how do you feel about this? What was your reaction when you saw this rank? Actually, I think the result came around 11 o'clock night. Yeah. Uh, just before, uh, just 15 minutes before, the, almost 10.45, I was thinking of let's, uh, let's sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, um, 16th it came, I think. Let's see on 17th. No issues, mm -hmm. I'll see on 17th. Okay, so... But when I tried, uh, tried to sleep, but I didn't get any sleep. Um, just waited, and around eleven o'clock, I saw my result actually. And then I, uh, then when I typed my roll number in that PDF, uh, seventeen day PDF. That's a long PDF. Yeah. Then uh, I was just shaking. I was so nervous. My hands were so shaky. Mm. I was just typing. It came and it was eighty two. Still, mm. I was. Uh, I didn't believe my result for the past two days. Man. I asked my friends to check it almost. I checked it for five times and I almost I called my friends at 11.30 night to call them and, check, and ask them to check. And they told it's 82. Then, mm -hmm. okay, I started believing it as 82. Because I was expecting a much lower rank than 82, but like like in 300s, uh, that was my aim. 82 was a uh, shock to me, man. So, but even if you're shocked, you have to accept it. See, all your hard work and everything has paid off. So, you definitely have to believe it, right? So you've scored such a yeah. great rank. Yeah. So what was your parents' reaction? Um, actually, um, uh, I got the rank of uh, almost 1,200 in INAC, May INAC, ma'am. Then uh, 2,200 in NEET. And 82 now, ma'am. I told them these ranks, uh, May INAC and NEET rank. They were okay, said, we'll get a college, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, fine. Uh, let's okay. Let's uh, get it out, ma'am. That's what, that was the reaction. <laughs> First time around 11.30, my, my parents used to sleep at almost 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Okay. That's they sleep. Then. They, were, they were also waiting for me to set at 11.30. First time, I saw tears <laughs> in my father's and mother's eyes uh, after these three exams. Because I didn't tell my uh, ranks uh, last year in a CT to the 24, I, uh, 24 I in a CT in NEET. I told them uh, these May and NEET, August NEET and this time. They were, uh, I think this was their reaction that they hugged me for the first time after hearing this result. Because they know I'll be in one of the topmost colleges of India. This yes, was the yes. reaction, but even I didn't believe it. My parents didn't believe it, but uh, yeah, I should believe it now that I got this rank. Yes, yes definitely. So now that you've told that uh, your journey has been there from May INS8 and NEET and uh, November INS8. So how was your preparation? Like when, you, when did you ideally start your preparation and how did you go about it? Um, my actually, ma'am, I didn't prepare from my UG days. That uh, I didn't have the plan. My internship was completely blank. I was enjoying my internship. That's all. I didn't even touch my book. My first classes started with ADR on July. I was I uh, uh, 24 2024 July. My cl first classes, or I think almost anatomy was our first class in 24 batch July. That was my first day. That was my first 12 hour class because we used to sit uh, for eight hours class. Yes, yes. This is in, in my in our colleges. Then my first 12 hour class, uh, two uh, uh, 12 hour classes for the first four days of anatomy, I got exhausted. It was with the uh, very, I was becoming weak in the starting July days. Mm. That sta starting part was, was so uh, bad for me. Man. But after that, I got accepted in and it was going through well after that. And July was my first period. July 24, I started preparing. Then up to December 10, I think. Mom. December 10, our classes got over. Okay. December 10. After then I started my revision and GDs. I didn't uh, uh, give any GDs in the first six months period during the classes because okay. I just focused on the study. First, we have to learn something. Then I'll give my GDs after that. That was my thought process, ma'am. First six months up to July to December, complete on classes and questions, uh, giving leader votes, leader leader votes, and and using some other sources for uh, for Q banks. That's all. After that, I started revising on GPs and uh, those and those things, man. Okay.
so how did you plan your day so when as you told that when you had long hours of 10 hours and all it's very difficult to study on that particular day and also how did you plan so when you had uh, classes face to face classes and when you were off on classes how would you plan your day so that you are able to cover that subject and revise that subject as well yes ma'am yeah, after the classes almost i'll get two hours a day uh, after the 12 hours class almost i get uh, because i have to travel from my classes and get to my pg i'll get two hours to one hour in the day uh, for preparing preparing for the next day lead about morning 6 o'clock 6:30 lead about i'll sit and revise in those two hours whatever the 12 hours period of teaching i'll i'll try to revise in those two hours and i'll try to get a good rank in the these lead about well, the, those lead about huh? then after finishing my classes and i'll use i cannot finish my 100% of that portion uh, which uh, has been taught in three or four days but i'll try to finish 78 80% 70 to 80% of the portions in those three days and almost give 100 to 200 questions in those periods that that was my plan but uh, even though that was my plan my i did for a few subjects i was not able to do it for uh, all the subjects man because i got uh, after those four days classes uh, i got tired and exhausted and gave a break for one day then i started uh, this two days three days almost in the month of november or december i just finished 50% or 60% of those subjects because okay. i know after my classes i'll get time to read so i didn't push much though much harder in those days man i got much bigger push after my classes uh, after my classes almost in december 10 and december 15 mm-hmm. those were the days i started re- uh, regularly re- uh, reading for 8 to 10 hours star 8 8 hours man. Oh. that was me okay okay gokul how many revisions you did after that so uh, definitely like uh, you told that by december your uh, classes are over so definitely you would have been on a loop on revisions right so how many revisions uh, I... ideally you did mom um, uh, i have to count with my fingers because <laughs> i don't have a correct number because first my first revision was almost for two months from uh, first revision because uh, the anatomy which i started in july i didn't read it for the next 6 months because i didn't have much time in those days and if i had a free time i was not able to study because uh, just any uh, uh, hook up with something uh, it mm. was like that no? then almost after 6 months the studying those 19 subjects it was like new almost new then i got 2 months for my first revision first week I almost got 2 months which was all around february first week around first week then after february to may inct i almost read for 3 to 4 times mm. then after may inct uh, it got easier revising the, mm. uh, those 19 subjects got easier because easier. i was much fam- much familiar with those subjects and i got uh, my um, memory of those subjects was good enough after may inct so almost always four to five times before the august need now all in the almost the two and a half months and the need got pushed and uh, in those two and a half months i, got, I revised almost uh, four to five times or uh, meet with almost eight to nine times i revised it before meet is before meet now i revised up to three times three times i revised and gave my inct so that's really great no so for you to do so many revisions consistency is very important i could see that every after every exam there might be some factor which is going to pull you down going down everything will happen and uh, how did you bounce back stronger how did you say that okay this is my path and i have to move on so what gave you that motivation how did you cope up with that first ma'am but uh, i know i just want general medicine ma'am. okay i want that friends i i was not interested in radiology uh, sorry to say this ma'am, but don't i don't have interest in pediatrics sorry okay. ma'am but i didn't get any any other interest in other uh, subjects ma'am i know that to get general medicine i have to be a top ranker i know i just know that then to be a top ranker i know i have to put hard work more than the others and and gt my gt score uh, so Uh, should ref- uh, reflect more but and better than the others that was my uh, uh, pure motivation first general medicine second my parents my parents asked me to get a better college and better branch that was my uh, after uh, so long years my parents asked just one thing uh, even not in my uj days just these things get a better college and better branch and get settled that's what they asked that's a simple thing and at least i have to do that that was my second motivation i'm nothing much bigger than this one and the uh, purely general person guy this uh, that was my biggest motivation actually yeah i could see the love for the subject you have no that will 
push you more harder than anything else so the i could see that motivation is not something from external and uh, purely it has internal so you have fixed the target you wanted to do this in life so that has made you bounce back stronger and continue so that's really great kokul so yeah, hearing that uh, that is inspiring to many people here so definitely your juniors will be inspired by what you have told so go for what you want and what your heart likes definitely you will reach the top position okay so now that we have you have been in area plexus uh, since uh, 2024 you told us so how area plexus has been a part of your journey and what uh, parameters of area plexus has helped you in your success first thing mom na arun sir asuka haris sir will be coming in some of the classes and say and don't think about any holidays and mm-hmm. this is not your holiday period or honeymoon period then you'll give us uh, exactly i remember i think mom we have exactly uh, on puja days we had classes Yes. On the day of Diwali, we had classes, <laughs> and I think uh, we didn't have any classes on Christmas. Mm-hmm. And he was much motivated to give us a better rank. First thing, he was much motivated, much more motivated. Man. Then uh, the leaderboards, leaderboards. Man, whenever I go down, uh, whenever I get up, I get my ranks down in those leaderboards. Mm-hmm. I know I'm missing something, and I'm leaving again. And my uh, my competitors are going ahead of me. That was my pure thinking, man. Uh, I was thinking a lot about it. actually those leader boards were almost uh, the 90% push i uh, i get those uh, push from the those leader boards from yeah. rankings in those leader boards actually helped me a lot the morning leader boards and evening leader boards and actually after those after my classes after my classes got finished during the vsv period daily we have we will have 40 questions almost 30 to 40 questions in the morning and leader boards are uh, almost 600 people almost around 600 to 700 people will be giving those leader boards okay. and getting a double digit rank around 25 30 40 Actually gives me a hundred other interest, man. That was my pure motivation. Daily gives daily. me daily. If if I get a three uh, three digit rank like one fifty, one twenty, I know I'm missing something. If I get down, that will push me back. That will push me back. And and I I will uh, I was talking to Vimal sir a lot. Uh, I was talking to Vimal sir a lot about. I'll ask him some if I had any issues. Uh, he will clear me a lot. Mm. I have to thank him, but he helped me a lot. I messaged him a lot, and he actually helped me a lot, man. And one more, my area places notes was all the subjects, every subjects. It was I, I was able to revise it very quickly. Plus, like almost I started revising. For example, my PSM, PSM, everybody considers as a large subject, uh, but. For the first time, I studied for three days, for almost three to four days. First time, while revising it before my INCT exam, I just studied for four hours. I think all those three hundred three uh, three ten pages, I just revised it in four hours. That was my easiest revision. It was almost like uh, to revise my notes. I uh, idea places notes was so easy. It was crisp. It was good, and uh, because of that, I was able to revise my notes very easily. Man. so yeah so one important thing which stands apart from other things is that the workbook of idea plexus so i could see that uh, how effectively you have used it and the leader boards so i have heard so many toppers say that leader boards gives you a real life scenario on how it is going to happen and uh, that as you said the pure adrenaline rush it makes you go forward i have to achieve more and more so apart from apart from that uh, did you utilize vsv and uh, the uh, hackathon sessions the high yield sessions and all so how did it enhance your journey uh, high yield sessions and pyq sleeper boards ma'am yes uh, i was using it for may in ct and november uh, in ct also ma'am but uh, first time for, i was so nervous in may in ct just i was watching all those videos and it was more helpful that whichever subjects i lacked confidence it gave me confidence because i have something very much important which uh, which uh, which, uh, which are pyqs and which gets repeated in every year and like i was uh, not with much confidence in pharmacology uh, pharmacology subject and sir uh, sudipati sir almost gave us a good good thing like almost uh, 20 pages note uh, 20 pages notes like uh, in uh, may may inct high yield sessions man. it was so useful and i have uh, then vsv i used it for one or two subjects man because i was during those vsv periods i was studying my adia plexus notes itself man. but i didn't uh, concept much on vsv man okay okay so right if you would just tell me three things if i ask you what are the three important things that made you uh, a topper in this journey what would you say three things ma mm-hmm. first thing 
uh, my motivation from my parents first thing my motivation from my parents then second as i said general medicine not nothing else yeah, second general medicine yeah then third one i'll give i'll give this to area places man without them if i if i have joined any other sources if i have got any other sources i wouldn't have got that regular push and regular uh, motivation i wouldn't have got that because arun sir have conducted so many zoom sessions and uh, helped us a lot and vimal sir so many things and i wouldn't have got those these things is uh, most important these three things man these three things are the most important to help me in this journey thank you thank you so much gokul so finally if you would like to give any advice to your juniors who are attempting the next inas it or neat pg what is that you would like them to follow or uh, motivate them there's nothing like ma'am uh, it's so oh, yeah, though it is important for the good source and good notes but whatever source or whatever notes they read the sincere effort and time they put in uh, in these things they'll get a good rank that's what happened with me man i gave a sincere effort and i got a rank in may then august then uh, i w- i felt my need rank was slower much slower then then i gave another uh, another exam which is now marine city then i got my deserved rank that's what if you give a sincere effort and time you will get the right and deserved rank that's the simple one so give the give your time and effort okay Nothing so it's not a told it very simply but that is very important and uh, moving on in the same direction with the same consistency and same push is very difficult and i could see that you have done that consistently that is why you are standing here today so i um, thank you very much for spending your time with us it was a great session with you uh, and uh, wishing you all the very best and hearty congratulations from media plexus to you and uh, convey this to your parents as well i know that they'll be very proud of you and keep making them proud as well as us. thank you so much kokul thank you thank you thank you